Thank you so much for taking the time. Um, so obviously this summer the Rangers kind of revamped this whole Hartford system with a, a lot of new coaches and obviously the organization's priority is to develop a lot of players. So what have you noticed is a, a little bit of a change this year, maybe from past years playing here? Um, the coaching staff, I'd say, um, way more hands-on. Um, you know, like today is a skills day, so you know we have you know two groups: guys lifting while guys are skating, and then those guys will switch. And a lot more, um, you know, one-on-one -on -one working on you know position specific, um, not just kind of like a one-size-fits-all kind of kind of treatment with guys. It's it's been a lot more personal, and uh, I think the results have uh, have shown. <laughs> And uh, for you individually, so obviously you've played 72 games in, in the NHL with the Rangers and was able to rack up some points and goals as well. So how close do you think you are to kind of getting back to the NHL? Is there, in, in a positive way, of course, like what part of your game do you think just needs to improve a little bit uh, for you to get back up there? Um, you know, I'd probably say just scoring in general. Um, you know, down here I play a lot more, um, part of a lot more, you know, offensively on the power point, things like that, that I'm not up in New York. So I think that, you know, just kind of making sure that I'm bearing down on my chances here. Um, you know, I think I have all the other tools and skills that you would need to play in that level. So I think just uh, finding that, uh, that bear down factor would be mm -hmm. the difference. Does it help to see guys like Heedle and Lingren get called up, just knowing that at any moment, any day, that uh, the Rangers could ask one of you guys to come up, whether it's someone up top's play is slipping, or maybe you just improve a lot. Is that, does that give you a little extra kind yeah. of... Push. Yeah, no, I mean, being, you know, going to my fourth year pro, I mean, you get called up when you absolutely least expect it. Um, so, I mean, you just kind of always have to be ready. Um, you know, there's, you can't have, you know, a bad game and then you get called up the next day and you have no confidence. So you got to make sure you're playing your best at all times because, you know, that call comes when you, when you least expect it. Mm -hmm. And obviously it would be tough to call you a veteran playing 72 games in the NHL, but that is way more than a lot of the guys down here. So is there some sort of leadership role you feel that you have down here with, for a lot of guys who've never stepped foot uh, on an ice for an NHL game? So have you kind of embraced that leadership role at all? Um, yeah, and it's, I think it's kind of more natural than anything. I think guys, you know, they know that you've, you've played up there and um, they kind of look to you for, uh, you know, some advice on things here and there. Um, and they just kind of, it's kind of a mutual respect, like they know um, that you know what it takes. So, you know, whatever you can give to them, they can, they can take and they can run with it. And I, I asked this question to Vinny, my last one. Uh, so when you played in New York, you obviously had the luxury of playing in front of Henrik Lundqvist at times. And right now you're playing in front of uh, someone who's widely considered the future goaltender of the New York Rangers and Igor. He won AHL Goalie of the Month uh, for October. So just what is it like, what has it been like playing in front of Igor? Do you notice he's just got some special talent and just does it help you guys play kind of at ease knowing you've got a goalie to back you up? Oh, yeah. Um, having a goalie like Igor has definitely, you know, been a huge factor for our success so far this year. Um, you know, he's made countless saves late in games that have arguably won us games um, and you know we didn't have that as much before so you know you're a little more comfortable making plays um, you know in the offensive zone knowing all right if this puck you know does go back you know we got a we got a guy now we can trust and then late in games you know he's going to come up big so it's uh it's definitely another layer of comfortability awesome